Hey everybody, Devoted Oblivion here, and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. Last time, we started Chapter 2 by having a talk with Tachibana, informed Nishiki that we are still alive, had a run-in with uh, Mr. Shakedown, and now, after a night long night's rest, we have our next objective, which is to find information on Tachibana Real Estate. But, now that we are in Chapter 2, the whole world, the whole city of Kamurocho is available to us. So, I think it would be nice to take in the sights of Kamurocho and see what it has to offer. So, we'll be hitting up pretty much every store or place that has entertainment, so mini games. So, to make it, even, to make it pretty straightforward, there will pretty much be no story progress in this episode, and I will be showcasing every minigame that we have access to right now. Say, probably not for Sega, unless it takes too long. Alright, and with that, we start right outside the Yoshida Batting Center. So let's go in. I believe we just talked to this guy, but... As well, there should be a lot. So since the world has opened up to us, I believe, yes, around Kamurocho, you get to find these telephone cards. You got this one, Ayu Sakurai Type A card. These telephone cards are your collectibles for this game. In the other games, that's... I can't bring up the map in here, but in every game past this, there are lock keys to collect, but in this game, there are telephone cards as your collectible, so be on the lookout for that. So, since we are in the batting center, let's play some baseball. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, getting high score can win you cool prizes. Sure, let's see what prizes you have to offer. So, for getting... A certain amount of points for depending on the course. You get some pretty good uh, weapons and armor, besides uh, some medicine. So, I think the best one that you could probably try and get is the Yakuza training gear, but I think you get that somewhere else. Otherwise, this is sort of like an efficient, or not efficient, but like a nice way to get some better uh, healing items. But then again, this game is all about money, so. You're most likely gonna be flushed with cash to buy some stamina royals and such. But anyways, I told the boss that offering expense prizes like these is gonna ruin us. Yeah, not really. So okay, so let's go in. It's 300 for the intermediate course. Uh, no, I don't want to do the intermediate course. Is this the beginner course? There's the advanced course. Where's the beginner course? I will showcase every course. Gold Rush course. I did not know about this. <laughs> As you can see, I actually did not play the batting cages in uh, er in the games. So I am actually unfamiliar. I think I only played this once, but that was in, I think, Kiwami 2. Since there's a side sub-story tied to it. And there we go, beginner course. Okay, so let's play. Okay. Here we go. And it doesn't tell you the controls. Okay. Well then. Let's see. So basically, you move around and you just hit A to swing and pretty much just hit the ball let's see where is it there we go and we want to you can see our target you align your target to one of them oh that's too early so you align your target your cursor Ah, it was too late there. Okay, so... This is weird. This is awkward. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. 
and actually check how to play. I thought they would tell you how to play like they did with karaoke. So, how to play. Press A with the right timing to hit balls pitched by the pitching machine and score runs. Hitting the ball so that it strikes a target will count as running the bases. If you fail to hit a target, it counts as game over. After 3 outs, game is over. He also ends after 20 pitches regardless of number of outs. And then the golden ball chance. You hit hit a home run target four times in a row, trigger golden ball chance. Next pitch will be a golden ball, scoring four points. Okay, so just pretty much make the make the most of every hit we get. So let's try again. Play ball! Play ball. Let's actually do better this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. I said do better this time. Oof. That's that should be a foul. What? Oh, that that was bad. Okay. Uh I'll be here for a while. Tears it. Damn. Damn. That's disappointing. Oh, okay, at least I showed off the gold ball. Okay. Oh. 
That is enough of that. I think now everyone could get the gist of it. And of course, the higher difficulties means it's gonna get harder. And clearly I suck at this. <laughs> okay. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our map and see the next place to go. And close by is Maharaja. So let's head into Maharaja then. Okay, so Maharaja is just over here, and let's enter. Charge 2,000 yen entry fee, so pay 2,000 to come in. It's not that bad. We are still f really wealthy, but we can get more later on. Okay, so inside Maharaja, we have the dance floor, but we also have a bar over here. So let's go to the bar. And we can bu just buy some alcohol and such. So let's go uh, get some... Uh, I should read the description, but I'm guessing that's some orange juice. And talk to the bartender, Micah. So you like disco dancing? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> if all that dancing makes you thirsty, come to me and I'll fix you a drink. Oh well. Let's go to the dance floor. Come on. Come on. There. And I can't walk past. Okay, there we go. And talk to the DJ. By talking to DJ, we get to dance. So let's dance solo. Uh, a tutorial should pop up here. So we get some songs. I think it's like five, one, two. Five. Yeah, you got five songs to choose from, and we got three different difficulties. Easy, normal, and hard. I'm just gonna go easy. Because I haven't played this in a while. Okay, so here we go. There we go. And the di welcome to the disco. The basic rules. The dance of disco. Press uh, buttons in rhythm with a song. Use left, down... Up, down, left, right, to move your character's avatar to the square with the next input icon, and then press the corresponding button shown when its frame overlaps the square border. As you move your avatar, you'll see the number of steps it takes. The more steps you take, the more points you will get for the next correct input. So try to take as many steps as you can on your way to the next input icon. Square is marked as already stepped on won't be counted again. In the middle, uh, in the upper middle of the screen is the fever gauge. Press the left button when it is full to trigger dancing fever. A new screen with a series of button, icon, button input icons <laughs> will appear. Press them with the correct timing to boost your score. To charge the fever gauge, keep pressing the correct icons with the right timing in an unbroken streak. The voltage gauge at the top, uh, upper right shows how impressed the audience is with your dancing. It directly affects which butt rating you get, so build up your score to fill the gauge. The gauge has four levels. Each level earns you another star toward your final dance rating. And there's also a versus mode, so you can dance uh, against someone else if you want to. Uh, holy, I can't talk today, huh? All right. Here we go. Let's dance to Friday night. That was, uh, some weird shadows. Okay. Let's do this. I'm- I like rhythm games. This one is not one I'm good at. Probably due to my sensitivity. Yep, so you just want to take as many and don't miss it. Or else you lose your combo as well. Okay, there we go. Oh, you don't want to hit the wall as well. Oh shit, I was too early there. Okay, I'm still too early. Like, I'm good at rhythm games, but this one I am not good at. Okay, then we could Dancing Fever, so let's do it. Do it within to the beat as well. And we get a big boost to our score as well. Mm. 
Virtual stick. There we go. And that was easy. I believe. Yes. Uh, as any rhythm game, the higher difficulties, the more beats there are. And, but, yeah, the more beats there are, but the more, uh, the higher the score you can get. Oh, I, I really can't explain stuff today. But, we got Friday Night 1 as CP. Leaving the party already? Come back soon, alright? Oh, don't worry, I'll be coming back momentarily. So, if we check the completion list now, uh, minigames. We have Friday Night 1 completed. So, I got the highest score in Friday Night Easy at the Disco. For each of the five songs, we have to, in your own time, of course, but you have to dance on all three difficulties uh, and get the high score. So three stars and you get the CP. So that's 15 CP right there. So it seems pretty easy. Well, maybe easy isn't the right word there. Probably it's more pretty straightforward, I should say. Uh, I'm not going to showcase the other songs. I'll probably do the other songs off screen just to get the CP. But yeah, that's pretty much disco. I think we will we will be coming back here later on, just not right now. So let's leave. Okay, the next place I want to go is Sega to the arcade nearby. And there are two Sega arcades, so one right here at Theater Square, and the other right down here on Nakamichi, uh, Nakamichi Street. Ugh. They both have the same contents, but you have a bit of a reason to actually go to both. More on that a little bit later. But let's go into this one in Theater Square. So, first off, I see something sparkling, and we got a telephone card. Emiri Okazaki, Type A card. I should probably... I'll, I'll make note of it later, but... You can see, we can play Space Harrier over here. We got... Whoop. Some more arcade... We can play... UFO Catcher here. And... I believe that's it for now. We can talk to the manager here, or staff son, and we can make them change the UFO catcher prizes. So, I go to UFO catcher. We have two sets to play. It, do it does not matter which side you want, but it's more like which uh, collectible do you want. So let's go with this one. So, by inserting coins, uh, it's 300 yen for 3 plays, so uh, 100 per play. And we just play a crane game, so let's do that. So let's see, move claw, which one do I want? Sure, let's go for the pink one there. Okay, let's see, do we get it? This is pretty much just a crane game that you play. So it's just like any, just like if you go to an arcade or something, yeah, just going anywhere that has a crane game, you get to pretty much sort of experience it again. Okay, that didn't work, so let's go for this. You have to sort of like try and, and uh, ang angle it right. It's just, I don't know how else I could explain this because you're just playing a crane game. But the one thing I do want to note with UFO Catcher is you want to play this a lot since there are once I use this up uh, there are collectible achievements in the completion list related to UFO Catcher and oh come on come on come on yes we got Bunchan the Java Pink Sparrow. So, if I go into the completion list again and go down. Okay. 
Acquire five different prizes. Acquire five different prizes from the UFO catcher. Uh, once you acquire five, there's going to be more completion uh, or another objective for this here for completion points. So basically, I think it is pretty much just get everything from UFO catcher. And I will be doing that as well. Since I actually did it on my own time. Although it was uh, pretty frustrating. And since we're in the arcade, I want to make note that we have uh, Outrun here. And I'm not going to play Outrun, but basically, since it's basically the old Sega arcade game as well, uh, with Outrun, we just need to score high to get. Oh, my bad. Space Harrier. Uh, same thing, but basically these arcade games is basically get a high score. And I don't really want to be doing that since I remember when I played it last time. I was I was there for like half an hour. Anyways, but that's Sega. Now let's head over here to Theater Square Alley to play to go to Mock Bowl. And it's not that far away. Oh! What's, what is this? <clears throat> Shut your hole, fat ass, and open your wallet! Whoa, what? Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I can't pay, I'm dead broke right now. Don't give me that bullshit, Tubbs. I watched your sorry ass come out of that soap land last night. Whoa, what? Yeah. And then you marched your little buddies around from club to club, drinking till dawn, living pretty large for a broke guy, ain't ya? You were spying on me. Wait, fuck. <laughs> What's a- You were spying on me. Damn it. I should pay attention to the text. Oops. <laughs> you're goddamn right. You know how many different lenders you've dicked over, pork chop? It's collection day, and your ass is getting beat. A female collections agent. Pretty unusual. It sounds like a real ball buster too. <laughs> ha ha! She's terrifying as ever! Marcus? What? Is she a friend of yours? Brother. You got that right. She wouldn't make an enemy of her. That there's Miss Tatsu, the debt collector. She's a legend in Yokohama. Miss mm -hmm. Tatsu, huh? She takes on the jobs that make other collections boys run away crying, and she always, always gets the cash. Her style's bold, blunt, and brutal. Add that to a bulldog's own tenacity, and you get one mean bite, my boy. Mm. You seem awfully familiar with her methods. Just a voice of personal experience. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you got me, boy. I was this close to getting my face caved in over a silly little debt a while back. Why am I not surprised? Hey, look there, boy. We're about to see what makes our lady, Miss Tatsu, so incredible. Huh, <laughs> you think you can get the money out of me? Oh my god. <clears throat> hey, you didn't get the money out of me? I'd like to see you try. Ha, huh, you boys and your tiny toys, you think your little butter knife there is gonna stop me? <clears throat> Drop the Oh I can't I can't keep up the different voices here. Oh Drop the tough act, sugar tits. I put a dozen dudes in the hospital with this baby. If you have a tear stained apology ready for me though, I'll hear you out. That's my line, sugar moves. Except the part about hearing you out, since you'll be too dead. Now make your move. Ugh, pulling a weapon on a woman. That's going too far. I'm stopping this. No, no need, boy. Just wait. Mm -hmm. Now blinking now, boy. Keep those eyes on Miss Tatsu. And showtime.
Whoa, those moves. <laughs> hey, looks like that beatdown gave you a few ideas. Uh, yeah, more than a few. Oh, yeah. Fantastic, boy. Hope you're ready to put him into practice. Mm -hmm. Nini. Look over yonder. Looks like our bad guy here has got some friends. Aw, oh, shit. Jin couldn't get beat to hell. He paid the tab last night. So what's say you pay him back by sucker punching this crazy bitch for him? Hear that, boy? Those dim bulbs are planning on getting a drop on the little lady from behind. Yeah. Sounds that way. Lovely crowd. You're a perfect match for the sort of scum dude that pull a knife on a woman. Why don't you give him a little demo of what a man's supposed to be? And no one's saying this doesn't involve you this yeah. time. I wouldn't. She can clearly defend herself. There's a whole pack of them. I'm jumping yes. in. Yes, that's my boy. Keeping chivalry alive and working in a fine bit of training in the process. Ha ha. The hell do you want? Boy. You guys plan to sucker punch that woman in the back? You got an eavesdropping problem. And damn straight we are. You think I want that psycho bitch to see me coming? We'll drop her before she can get those claws out. I don't care how I don't care how tough she is. You don't hit a woman, and needing grip to do it is just pathetic. You call yourself a man. Uh. The fuck did you say? You got a big mouth and a death wish, pal. Yo, we're dropping this guy before we take her to Broad. Welcome to Goons! I thought we couldn't trigger this early because it would be mandatory for the story. I guess not. Switch to beast style. So, I unintentionally Triggered a story beat, I think. Oops. But switch to the B style. We have the B style now, so by pressing right on the D-pad, we can attack with a weapon automatically. Press X while near a large weapon showing a blue arrow mark to automatically pick it up and swing it. This is called auto weapon attack. Bash an enemy with an auto weapon attack. So we, ha we can also quick step, but it's very slow and doesn't cover much distance. But, of course, I was right by that sign and. Oops. We were I was right next to that sign and it just automatically picked it up. And that's really good since the B style is all about power and. It may be slow, but it's strong. Withstand enemy attacks. When using B-Style, holding left button to guard lets you withstand enemy attacks with the resist guard. You take a certain amount of damage, but you are protected against attacks coming from any direction. Bolstering your defense by equipping gear in the pause menu further reduces the damage you take with resist guard. Be sure to, to equip any gear you find. So, let's get... Okay, so now that we're unarmed... We just go and punch it back. So, defeat the cowards. So, our basic combo, if I don't die here. Okay, 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 okay. It's just a three hit combo. If I could show off. Oh, and we're right next to the side, so it doesn't matter. But we still only have three hits. One, two, three, and then strong attack. And let's pick up the motorcycle while we're at it. And let's show off the heat action. Only possible with Beast right now. Well, easier with Beast, I should say. Let's do that. And that was just strong attack. Too strong. One. One. Two. Dead. Ugh, what is this guy? All of us beating on him, and it's like he doesn't even feel it. You want more? Uh, Ugh, I'm gonna leave until I at least punch that uppity bitch out. Well, well, if it isn't Porky's little friends. I saw you boys crawling in the bars last night. Oh, But I must be hearing things, because it sounded like you said something about punching a bitch out. If you're interested, this bitch is ready to go. No, ma'am. 
that's just crazy. What kind of man would punch a lady? And we're with a group, so in fact, ha <laughs> Right. I'll pick up that sad sack lying over there and get the hell out of my sight. I got what I came here, here for. Got no use for him now. Yes, ma'am. Baka, it's been a while. Yeah. Same old Miss Tatsu, strong as a bear on bearoids. You don't want to talk, old man. So, you gonna introduce me to my knight in shining armor here? What? Alright. This here is my latest find. A real diamond in the rough. Name's Kiryu. Mm. Kiryu, huh? I don't remember the name. If you got Baka singing your praises, you've gotta be pretty tough. Yes. He is. This boy here is a future champion. I stake my career on it. Ah, okay. Now I'm seeing what this is. You're thinking Kiryu here is your ticket to a fat stack of cash. Which you'll then use to pay me back, so we gotta stay friends. Easy, Tiger. I told you it'd take a while, but you'll get it all back. Oh, and speaking of favors, why don't you train the boy here? Wait, what? Do I seem like the patient teacher type to you? <laughs> Sorry, no can yeah. do. Nah. Now don't be like that, we both need him to get stronger. Once he's a champ, we'll be rolling in dough. Besides, I know you're secretly the doting type. He'll make champion a hell of a lot faster with you beating him into shape. It means you get paid sooner, see? Win, win, win! Boy. Boy. <laughs> uh... Marcus, what do you think you're doing here, man? Yeah. Negotiating an apprenticeship with Miss Tatsu for you, obviously. Trust me, you'll you train under her, you'll master You'll be master of the ring in no time flat. Uh? You're insane. I'm in seriously hot water right now. I don't have the time to humor your little fantasies. What? You're in hot water too, my boy? Are you talking knife in the ribs here? Cause I warned you about that. I'll be lucky if that's all we get. And seriously, what's this session with me getting stabbed about? Alright, chuckleheads, that's enough. Neither of you is making a damn bit of sense. But, I hear where you're coming from, Bacchus. Ditch the championship talk and just say you care about this cure, you kid. If you're worried about him, own it. Look, you did me a solid minute, solid minute ago. I can do this. Besides, the old man is right that my training will make a real man out of you. Hop a cab out to the pier sometime. I've got a training space there. You train at the pier? You got it. Kinda live there too. Pay me a visit sometime. See for yourself. I think you'll like the digs. Anyway, that was my last job in the city, so I'm headed back to base. Here you. You, me, here. Training. I'll be waiting. Bacchus, I've already got a future plan. I'm sorry, but I can't be your champion. What's more are we are we even talking about? Boxing? Not that it matters. I can't. Oh, I know that. Doesn't mean I'll stop trying. <laughs> uh. But I know when to stop making nuisance of myself. I'll give you some space, champ. It's about time for my afternoon drink anyway. Let me clear my head. Good luck with that. Just don't have too many. Yeah. You think a guy called Bacchus can't hold his wine? Ah, see you around, boy. Keep those ribs night free now. Get out of here. And thanks. I'll be careful. Didn't expect to get wrapped up in that mess, but at least it didn't come away empty handed. Now, back to looking for leads on Tachibana real estate. Uh, you said it yourself, Kiryu. I just want to showcase some bowling, but uh, I accidentally triggered something that is needed later on, which is the beast style. We have our third style now, and with that uh, turn of events, oops. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap things up here, and uh, next time, I will be sh going over more mini games. So the ones that we didn't get to... Okay. I should really stop going into places I haven't been to, huh? Hey there, buddy. Been looking for you. You okay? You got a lot of nerve showing up now. What do you want? I think it's pretty clear what I want. Time to pay your protection money, pal. You're doing business in Kamurocho, you're doing business with us. To hell with that. It's not protection money if you don't show up to actually protect me when I need it. You have to gall to ask for more when you need it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about touching about a real estate. When they came hey man. Oh, I didn't want to trigger a story, but I guess we did. Oops. <laughs> My bad. 
I talked about Tachibana real estate. When they came and chased me out, you people were nowhere in sight. Some protection. Tachibana? What? Oh, Tachibana real estate. Yeah, there. Look, it's complicated. Oh my god. There was a save point right there that was ready to close this off. Ugh. Okay. Complicated my ass. You got scared and ran away. What could be simpler? So scared? What do you think? Thanks to you, I had to relocate. Now I'm scrambling to get new customers to make up for all the ones I lost. I couldn't pay you even if I wanted to. I think you better keep that attitude in check, asshole. Mind if I cut in? Huh? What do you want? Who are you? What family are you with? I'm not in anybody's family. And pipe down. It's this, it's this guy I'm talking to. Excuse me? Well, what do you want from me? You say you opened shop here because Tachibana Real Estate forced you out of your last location. That right? Oh, I see what this is. You're trying to be this guy's new muscle. Oh, hell no. What? Our family's handled this cafe's protection for 30 years. You try to swoop in on our turf? It'll mean war. Looks like you need some convincing to stay quiet while I speak with the owner here. Shut your mouth and try me. I'll kill you. <sighs> Just when I said I wouldn't trigger anything with the story. Well, we're gonna switch to Brawler here and beat this sucker up. Okay, let, let's knock you back down. Heat action. That should be it. No. There we go. Whoa, what the hell? I'm not losing some kid. You just did. Now get lost. And I'll show your face around this guy's shop again. Damn it. This ain't over. There. Now we can finally talk in peace. So, so what? And then you're just taking his place as the guy squeezing me for protection money. Please, can you just leave me alone? I already said it wasn't like that. I'm not even Yakuza. I really just want to talk for a minute. Talk about what? Touch upon real estate. I'm doing a little investigation. I'd like you to tell me what you know. Anything is fine. What I know isn't a hell of a lot. Besides, I prefer never to deal with those guys again. They're terrified. Terrified? How? What did they do to you? It's not even what they did. They just knew about me. Like, everything about me. Like what? My parents' home address, my daughter's school, where I source all the cafe supplies, who all my customers are. Without much ammo, they didn't have to do anything. And top it off, you're not even Yakuza. At least with that lot, you know what to expect. I see. And where would I go if I wanted to meet the guy from Tachimana's office who paid you that visit? They're probably still there, finishing what they started. Still where? <sighs> The Hakua building, Hakua building on Shichifuku Street, the place my cafe was in. They'd driven most of the tenants out, so the place is practically empty. There was one stubborn guy who said the only way he was leaving was in a casket. And he's still there. Probably. They're making him all kinds of sweet deals. But he turned down every last one. If he's still there now, Tachibana's boys will be too. Go have a look if you really want to get mixed up with him. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. Tachibana has been running tenants out of the Hakua building on Shichifuku seat. History, uh, it's worth checking out. Well, oops. Uh, from an episode where I intended to hit every mini game to accidentally, to, well, hitting Duri and then triggering Story, I'm definitely gonna endings off here oops so with that uh, we took some sights in Kamurocho what played at the padding cages uh, danced at Maharaja checked out uh, the Sega arcade and then we got our new style and know our next place to go for the story unintentionally uh, next time, let's actually continue taking the sights of Kamuro Cho, and hopefully not accidentally triggering any more, uh, side things, cause, uh, that was pretty awkward. And, yeah, I'll see everyone, uh, next time. Oops.